up next, which should be a good lightweight clash between Bruce Lee and Dustin Poirier. So here is Dustin Poirier making the walk for yet another big UFC spot here tonight. UFC 236 was his coming out party, DC. He ended Max Holloway's 13 fight winning streak and in a near perfect performance in a lot of respects, was able to realize a UFC interim lightweight. They say diamonds are forever and so is Dustin Poirier. It seems like he's been here the whole time. We've seen this young man grow up in the UFC. We saw him at 145 pounds have a ton of success, but we truly see him come into his own as he's going up to lightweight. He's become a UFC interim champion, and he's beat guys like Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, and Max Holloway. One of the best fighters at 155 is Dustin Poirier. And with Dustin Poirier and Daniel Poirier, safe to say that Lafayette, Louisiana has made a pretty good UFC footprint over the last few I years. Love Dustin Poirier back on the proven ground here. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. If he's the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer holding a professional record of 29 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch left, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big-time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Poirier gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Stuff to take down, no problem. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. 
Right single collar tie now. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh! And he landed the right hand there. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Single collar tie now. Connects with the right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Poirier. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there, sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch from the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Real sneaky body kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at the flip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Protect your face. Wow, he actually got the take now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back DC where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his legs. And one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Big punch land on the top. How's he going to follow this one? Stuffs the takedown, no problem. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Look at the turtle in that kick. Now connects with the right. Just missed 
with the straight left hand. Started to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Straight punch lands. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Look at how he turned his hip over when he throws that kick. Watch right, so the former interim lightweight champ, Dustin Poirier, in a good striking throw here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent out. Nearly put them out. I can't take many of them. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155. I can't believe he's to fight at featherweight. He looks like he could never have made that weight. He's found his home at lightweight, and you see the damage he can inflict with one strike. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Oh, both, both landed. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, nice. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Fourier's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Ooh, big shot land. Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Poirier. And potentially a critical takedown here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down good strikes with your opponent. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Liver kick. Oh, elbow up top by Dustin Poirier. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Left hand punch with the clinch. Ooh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Just a slip there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Fourier's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Good stick. Trying to establish that jab once again. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All 
right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice punch by Lee. Poirier's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh! Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Just misses there with the left. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Strong straight left there. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Poirier gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Hands up. Hands up. Yeah. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Over and over, he's landing with a big body. Poirier gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. All right, so Dustin Poirier with a nice one-two there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up. He has natural power in the right, but he's developed great power in the left. He's a problem, man. He's big, he's strong, and Dustin Poirier has unbelievably long arms. That's why the jab gets there so often and it's so damaging to his opponent. Nice kick there by Lee. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Keep your hands up. Your Huge block there. Single collar tie here. Flush right hand is true. Oh, how did he eat that uppercut? Just unable to quite find that range. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. How good is that right hand? Straight hand, continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Very tricky when it throws that body kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. And they separate. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Connects there with the punch. 
All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking and rolling the slipper. He's doing a great job. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Fourier's inner thigh starting to bruise up pretty good now. That kick blocked by Lee. A oh, little single collar tie there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come for me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Lee's kick is blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Powerful leg kick land. Got the single collar tie. And he comes through with a big knee. He got him. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much, you miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. Just missed with the left there. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of him. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he just slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Fourier gets touched by that kick there. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Look at the angle of that nice body. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, that's a nice strike. 
Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Well, he's got to be on top of the world after this performance here tonight as we come down the stretch. And this one, from a cardio standpoint, this is as conditioned as he has ever arrived in the octagon. I mean, he looks fantastic tonight. It's one of those nights where everything went right. He's got the fight where he's comfortable. And he dictated the exchanges to where he can really conserve that cardio. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. 20 seconds left. Oh, that right hand is on point. 10 seconds to go in round four. So far. All right, well, that's the end of the round, and we will go right into the corner of the fighter with that brutal cut on his nose. Really, really bad here. You got to think they're going to, at the very least, call the doctor in. And if that cut gets any worse than it is now, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's a skip when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Oh, nice punch there by Poirier. Got clip with the right hand. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Connects with the right. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Punch coming, it's blocked. Poirier gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Pretty good right hand. Just misses with the jab there. Great punch, man, so much power. And they clinch once again. Right hand punch to the clinch. Ooh, head kick lands from Hurst. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice punch here. Head kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Big kick land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a pinch. Lee gets caught with that punch. Ooh, nice straight left hand. Again, back into this position. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. I'll tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Poirier gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, connects with the one-two. 
Nice. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Poirier. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Well, he misses with the oh, left punch. Man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg. Got to his position. Got another beautiful takedown. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, working inside the close guard now. Both fighters back to their feet now. Ooh, what a punch. And now he's got that tight clinch. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, land this punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Dustin Poirier. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the strike. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 39-26. The winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision.